Sorry, everybody. You guys know me? Ah, I'm here, James. Coming up in the next couple of minutes, we will preview the Oklahoma Seniors being on the road at the Red Raiders of Texas Tech. Which brings us to our Sooner Stumper. So these Sooner seasons, 2009, 2005, 2007, 2009, what do all these teams have in common? These teams, by the way, uh, quarterbacks of these teams, by the way, I'm sorry. 1999 was Josh Heupel. 2005 was Brett Bomar. 2007 was Sam Bradford. 2009, Landry Jones. What do all four of those quarterbacks have in common? We'll tell you. Plus, we'll preview all of the stuff that you need to know for Oklahoma, Texas Tech. Coming up next, Boomer Sooner 1982. Don't go away! Sooner Stumper for the Texas Tech OU preview. 99, 05, 07, and 09. What do all these teams have in common? All four quarterbacks. Uh, Heupel, Bomar, Bradford, and Landry Jones. Had their... Uh, it was their first year on campus. 1999, of course, Landry Jones comes in from junior college. And then Bomar, Bradford, and Landry Jones... It was all their freshman years in 05, 07, 09, respectively. The series between Oklahoma and Texas Tech is as follows. They played in 29 games. Oklahoma has a 23-6 and six overall record. That is a 79% winning clip. The six loss for Oklahoma came in all the way back in 2011 in Norman, uh, 41 to 38, if you remember that one. More recently, Oklahoma uh, took care of business against Texas Tech, 52 to 21 in Norman in 2021. Pre-game fun. Now, hopefully, this will stay the same till next year. But as it is this year, this is the final one. By the way, they've already done their final one for this year, but we'll still go over it, dude. Uh, WWLS, the sports animal, they're out at, out at O'Connell's for uh, OU home games. While the ref is at a Balfour, which is just across the street from uh, the O'Connell's. And they're at the corner of, uh, at the Hertz Donuts corner there on Asp Street. The franchise who wasn't there at Asp Street. Asp Street is now just north of the football complex at the party at the palace. And the party at the palace is just north of the football stadium. The game will take place between Oklahoma and Texas Tech, by the way, will take place in Lubbock at Jones AT&T Stadium on, January, on November 26th. Sooner Radio Network call will be done by Toby Rowland, who is the play-by-play -play man for the OU football team and basketball and baseball team and is a host of his own ref sports talk, uh, his own ref network, ref show on the ref, sports talk show on the ref from 6 to 9, Monday through Friday. Teddy Lehman is the color analyst for the Sooners and also has his own show on the ref from 3 to 6, Monday through Friday. And not only that, but is half, oh, yeah, right down the middle of the Oklahoma Breakdown Crew. They release a podcast every 
Sunday and Wednesday uh, or Thursday, uh, considering the uh, holidays and all that. His the other half of the co-hosting is done by Gay Biker. Like we said, he's the, he is the other host of the Oklahoma Breakdown and is also the uh, host of a Big 12 Today Sports Talk radio show from 3 to 5 on Big 12 Today. He's on further there from 3 to 5, Monday through Friday. And the Plank, Chris Plank, again, host of the ref, host on the ref from, three to, from 9 to 11, Monday through Friday, and is also the host of Sooners of Fox Sports Radio uh, weekends, 10 to 1 a.m. on Sundays. Now let's preview the Oklahoma Sooners. Their head coach, Brent Venables, in his first year as head coach of Oklahoma. Overall 6-5 and five record, that's a 5-4 and four winning percentage. And 3-7 and seven in league play, that's 37% winning clip. Hasn't made it to a bowl yet. He will this year with the sixth win. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, he, Stoops, and uh, Lincoln, Stoops, and Bob, Lincoln, Brent, and Bob, I should say, have come together for a total of eight divisional championships. But qualified for the Big 12 championship four other occasions and have won 13 outright championships together. Of course, the eight conference championship, the eight South championships were 2000, 02, 03, 04, 06, 07, and 08 and 2010. They also qualified for the Big 12 championships once it was brought back the first four years, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And they have 13 conference championships. 2000, 02, 03, 04, 06, 07, 08, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 2021 was also pretty good for the Sooners. 10 and, uh, 11 and 2 overall, 7 and 2 in conference play. They did tie with Baylor, but Baylor ended up going to the Big 12 championship. In second place. They did, however, send Oklahoma to the Alamo Bowl, where they beat Oregon 47-32 in the Bob Stoops Revenge game. But for 2022, the offense and defensive ratings uh, uh, production, this is how it looks for 2022. Points per ball game for Oklahoma in 2022, 32.7. And yards per ball game is at 456.8. Defensively for Oklahoma, they average giving up, surrendering 28.1 points per ball game and 440.1 yards per ball game. The Sooners this year, 6 and 5, 3 and 5 in Big 12 play. First three wins came against Utah, Kent State, and at Nebraska. They did get the win. The UTEP win was 45 to 13. That game was in Norman. The Kent State win was a 33 to 3 win over Kent State in Norman, and 49 to 19 was the win at Lincoln over Nebraska. The Sooners then hit a three-game skid. A home game at a home game against Kansas State, 43 to 30, 41 to 34. The victory, uh, the loss there. They then lost. In the Metroplex twice, 55 to 24 at TCU and 49 to nothing at rival Texas. Sooners came home and got a win over Kansas, 42 to 52, and then they went on the road and won at Iowa State, 27 to 13. They then lost a home game to Baylor, 35-32, and lost a road game at West Virginia, 23 to 20 but did get a big rivalry win on senior night in Norman, 28-13 over Oklahoma State to send the Oklahoma Sooners bowling. The other half of the rivalry this week between Texas Tech, their head coach, Jerry Maguire, 1995 grad from University of Texas, Arlington, 
and has been a head coach, the head coach at Texas Tech since 2022. Overall this year in 11 games, uh, Tech is 6-5, and 54%, and 4-4 four for four in eight conference games at 50%. No bowl record for uh, Jerry Maguire. Joey Maguire, I should say. Texas Tech, in the last couple of years, does have one division championship. Got it in 2008. But they tied with Oklahoma and Texas. Oklahoma ended up winning the outright title. Other than that, with that being said, Texas Tech does not have any conference championships. Last year went 7-6, 3-6 in Big 12 play, fin uh, finishing ninth in the league, but did get a little uh, victory over Mississippi State and their former coach Mike Leach, 34-7 win in the Liberty Bowl. This year in 2022, the offense for Texas Tech is scoring 32.0 points per ball game and is averaging 44 446.8 yards per ball game while defensively they surrender 27.8 parts points per ball game and yards per ball game surrendered is at 288.6 the 2022 season for texas tech is as follows five and five overall Three and five in conference play. They took care of Missouri of uh, Murray State first of all, sixty-three to ten. They then took care of Houston, huh, thirty-three to thirty. By the way, this one was in double overtime. By the way, the Houston huh, is uh, thanks to Mike Steely, who loves to hit that hard H in Houston. Huh, they then lost to North Carolina State. They lost that one 27-14. They got back on the winning track against Texas. Got it 37-34 in overtime over the Shorthorns. Before going on the road at Kansas State and losing 37-28 in the loss. They then lost again to Texas, uh, to Oklahoma State, this time in Stillwater. 41-31. They got back on the right track against West Virginia. 48-10 win there. They then lost two straight. They lost to Baylor. 45-17 in uh, Lubbock. They then lost at TCU. 24-34. But they just got done playing on the road at Iowa State and got the win there. 14-10. Making them also bowl eligible. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You guys know me. I'm Harry James. You can catch this and all my other videos on the YouTube if you subscribe on the YouTube. Hit that or that. Subscribe. Or you can hit the... Uh, or if you're watching it on Facebook, that's okay. If you're watching it on Facebook, Harry James Taylor. Or hit the Twitter find, at Harry. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And boomer sooner, everybody. I'm out of here. Peace.